Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Ebony here with a new tutorial for you guys. Today, we're going to be playing around in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a fake shawl depth to fill photo in Photoshop. And if you don't have a DSLR, it's okay. You still can have awesome photos. So let's get started. So right here we have a photo of me. This photo was taken with a webcam, so it's probably not the best lighting or the uh, best look for a photo. But just to show you guys that you don't really need a expensive digital camera or even a digital camera to make a to take a good photo. We're gonna go ahead and unlock the background layer, and you can do that by just double clicking on the layer, and you can name it whatever. I'm just gonna call it VG for background. So what we're going to do is go ahead and grab your quick selection tool. If you want to take your time, you can use your loops tool and carefully outline everything. But for this, we're just going to use the quick select tool. This is a lot easier than using anything else in my opinion. So we're going to enlarge the brush, not too much. And what you want to do is go ahead and select everything you want to be out of focus in your photo. So, for me, it will be mainly the background and a part of my arm. So, quickly select all of this down my arm just a little bit. And it selected pretty much my whole arm, but we can go ahead and deselect some of the parts in the photo. For this, you might want to use a smaller brush uh, on some parts. But it looks like the quick select tool pretty much got everything. And depending on your light situation in your room or whenever you're taking the photo, it's good to have some backlight on your subject. So when doing this, it's a lot easier because light will refine everything. So about right there on my arm, that's pretty good. Now, anywhere in the selected part, you want to right click and go to layer via copy. Now it should create a new layer for you of the part of the photo that you just selected, which is right there. So go ahead and select this top photo. Uh, double click right there and we can rename it uh, to blur. Because this is the part of the photo we want to blur out. We're going to go to filter, blur, lens blur. And the reason I named my layers is just so in case if I'm coming back to the photo to re-edit it or anything, it's good just to have uh, something to work with the layers name so you won't have to remember which layer is which you already have the name. Now in this photo, really you want to just be playing with the radius, everything else you can pretty much leave it alone. It's mainly the radius you want to be playing with and depending on uh, how your photo is, how big it is. Um, and how the lighting is, that's what you want the radius to be. So it'll be different for you than it is for me. And I think I'm going to mark mine at 11. That looks pretty good. The back is pretty blurred out. And we're going to hit OK. And right then and there, you can already tell the difference. Uh, except for on the arm, it looks pretty crappy. So we're going to add a masking tool on the blur part. And just going to edit this really quick make it look better a soft brush that should do it and about right there so everything kind of blends in together which makes a happy photo and that's basically the photo and you can select both parts of this photo go ahead and merge the layers or you can duplicate them just for an extra backup and then merge these layers so you have um, your finish product and unselect those and that's basically how you create a fake shallow depth to filled photo just that simple just that easy and you can do this in any cs version of photoshop i'm pretty sure the lens flare isn't in photoshop element 7 i believe which was the last elements um i could be wrong but uh, as long as you have a CS version, you should be good. You can even get a trial base, a 30-day trial base of Photoshop if you want to. Um, and yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to recruit, uh, if you want to request a tutorial, leave it down below. If you want to request a review of a software or a product that you have seen me uh, shoot a video on, or uh, you know that I have, then you can request that down below. All right, in a PM, and that's basically it. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this new tutorial. More to come. And I'll see you guys very soon. Probably next week, there should be a new tutorial out. Alright, guys. Take care. Peace.